Welcome to the farm. Welcome to the farm. I'm Justin, and today we need to do a little work on this lawnmower here. Now, I just got this lawnmower this summer. It's a, a used lawnmower, and I've only gotten to use it once. And that was a couple months ago. It's been so dry, and our lawn is up on a sandy, gravelly hill, so water just sheds from it, and our grass really doesn't grow much when it's dry. But now we've had some rain, and it's starting to grow. And last weekend, I went to start this up to go and tackle the lawn, and it wouldn't start. So we need to get this thing running so I can mow. So I'm just gonna bring the mower out of the shed here, just so we have some light so you guys can see really well, because the GoPros I use don't really like shadows. If you're ever in a situation where your rider won't start and you need to move it, it's hard to move with the transmission engaged. You can see it doesn't, it doesn't really want to roll. So what you can do is usually in the back, there's a little thing you pull out and you lock. And that'll disengage the transmission, making it a lot easier to move. So after doing a quick walk around, this little remnants right here kind of tell me we're dealing with a rodent issue. Hopefully nothing too serious, they didn't chew any wires or anything like that, but we'll have to open it up, get into it, and see what we got. All right, so on first inspection, I don't see anything that stands out that we have rodent damage. There's no nest. I don't see much for droppings or anything. I don't see any chewed up wires or lines or hoses. So maybe, maybe it's not rodent related. I'm not sure. I mean, we got plenty of fuel. So if it's a fuel problem, maybe we've got a bad filter, we got a clog in the carburetor. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to start by opening up the air cleaner and just make sure that's cleared. Because a lot of times, rodents like to make nests in air cleaners. Well, the filter doesn't look bad, but I do see, oh yeah, we got rodents nests in there, way up in the tube here. I don't know how well you guys can see, but inside this tube here is full of mouse nest or chipmunk nest or whatever, and you got a little bit of a remainder right here. So we'll go ahead, we'll get that taken apart and get it cleaned out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the cover off the engine here. I took the hood loose just so it's easier for you guys to see and to give me a little more access. Well, we definitely found a rodent nest. Unfortunately, I don't think it's blocking the airflow, but they may have chewed something underneath here. Well, we'll have to open this up and take a look. All right, so we definitely have some wire damage here. Got this one's eaten through down to the wire right here, but underneath here, we got a wire that's completely broken. So we're gonna go ahead, take this apart. We'll splice in some new wires, maybe reroute this a little bit, and hopefully get this thing running.
All right, so we got our bad wire replaced. Before I button this all back up, let's just test and see if this thing will start. All right, we're back in business. Let's close this thing up. Well, I'm glad that was a pretty quick, easy fix. Nothing too major, just repair a couple wires. And yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this one. Just wanna say thank you so much for watching and I got some mowing to do. Bye.